Hey folks, welcome back to Dominion 6. I'm playing as Early Age Ermor, and in the last episode, we were kind of putting up forts, building up armies. We're, we're actually trying to build up a decent sized for, uh, force now, and we're going to give it some mage support. And then we're going to head off in an expansion effort down this peninsula, and we can actually make it all the way down to Debrintha here, and onto this, this sort of northern, northeastern part of this continent, or this spur of this continent. Uh, and to see what's down there, we are likely to find Turnanog and perhaps even Marverni there. I think we found all of our pretenders now. Oh no, Machaka. Uh, Machaka must be around here. Or here. Unless he's on an island here, which would be hilarious. But I don't think we can... I have to remind myself of how you find... Whoops. Keyboard. Keyboard's falling to bits. I don't think you can search for the name. I don't think you can search the name of a province. I think it's just all done with numbers. Yeah, I, I, it'd probably be quicker for me to do that than scan across here. I think I think Machaka must be down here somewhere. Yeah, that looks like a good place because we've got Turnanog here. I think it's around here. So it'll be interesting to see where they are. Now... I, I think Muspelheim is going to be my first, uh, you know, my first conquest. And I don't know if I want to bother trying to get a non-aggression pact with any of these other guys. Anyway, let's end the turn. Okay, research in Conjuration is completed. Uh, okay, and we've... So this is going to be Conjuration 3. So we've actually got access to Phoenix Power now. There's a battle in the Mercs. Let's see how this one went. Okay, so we're attacking Ermor. Sorry, uh, Ermor are attacking Independence, sorry. It's like they've got a priest here. Yeah, so that's just going to be their sort of village priest, basically. <laughs> so we've got, we have got quite a lot of arrows and uh, slings coming in. Slings and arrows. And there go our Equitates of the Sacred Shroud. Blood Surge is going off. Okay. I don't expect too much trouble here. Oh! Yeah, look at these Slingers. The Slingers are running. I'm hoping that we can kill these guys with arrows. Okay, the Equitates are actually chasing them down now. This is interesting, look. So they actually they came to chase these... Uh, Okay, the slingers are now engaging. And they were saved. They were saved by the Equitates of the Sacred Shroud. Now, we did lose a few... It sounds like we lost a few Amazons there. Probably from these archers. Let's see what happened. We lost four Amazons and we lost two slingers. Yeah, that was a good battle. Um, now, 26 units ran. I think... Who was that then? Uh, must have been... I guess it must have been either the Amazons or the slingers or both. Uh, there's a battle in the Mercs. Uh, this doesn't look good. This is uh, Muspelheim attacking into us. Oh, lordy. We can't win this. So, and, oh, well, mind you, they're not sick. Are they blessed? Yep. Okay, so they're going to get blessed as well. And they've got morale plus one, poison resistance 10, magic resistance 2, strength plus one, swamp survival. Okay, that's not the best blessed, to be honest. But we're not going to win this. These fire giants are going to absolutely wreck us. Now, these do have firepower, so they are going to lose a little bit of strength. In the, Now, they're actually losing three strength in the cold. The minus three strength, they're losing some attack. Um, Equitates of the Sacred Shroud might do okay here. I don't. Th I think there's just too many of them, though. If we can get a kill off and get Blood Surge going. Oops. Okay, one of their... So, th this is Proctor now as well. Oh, no, they're not... Did they not get blessed ah uh, some of them are blessed yeah some of them are blessed some of them are not righteous wrath is active i don't think we can do this um they've just got too much oh yeah with and also the heat is starting to set them on fire they stood firm though they did not run Hopefully we did some damage. But Muspelheim, uh, we bumped into them. Now, that's not that's not immediately going to put us at war with them. Uh, but I should have expected that, really. That was kind of their... That's in their cap circle. They just... They were a little bit tardy about taking it. So, yeah, we did lose 10 Equitates of the Sacred Shrouds and some Auxiliaries. 
bunch of them ran and a lot of them made it back to our territory which i'm pleased about hopefully they're not all wrecked suddenly a killer the gladiatrix appeared at the uh achillia at the gladiatrix appeared at the fort gates of your fortified city and wanted to fight for your cause Achillea is an Enkidu born with another name in the distant lands of the Enki uh, in distant lands of the Enkidus. When a raiding ar army conquered her home, she was captured and sold as a slave to an arena master in an Emorian border province. Since then, she has been forced to fight uh, uh, fight men and beasts in the arena of the empire. Her reputation has grown as her combat skills. Her reputation has grown, as has her co uh, skills in combat. Her master once told her that she could buy her freedom if she earned him enough gold, but whenever she asked, he always postponed her release. When she confronted him a final time and refused to fight anymore, he became furious. A killer got her freedom, but her master tricked her and placed a cursed collar around her neck. Lost of free will, she ended up fighting for anyone who gave her orders. Her former reputation caught the attention of the emperor, and she became enrolled in the armies of the Awakening God. Okay, she's going to have a slave collar. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, so she's feeble-minded, so she's got no, she's got no free will. Um, she's got the bodyguard ability. That's pretty cool. And she's a good bodyguard as well. Now, she's size 4. 23 hit points, 16 strength, uh, defense skill. Yeah, she's she loses some attack skill because of a feeble-minded abilityness. Uh, but she's doesn't leave it for defense. That's interesting. So it only affects attack. Okay, yeah, feeble mind minus one attack, minus one defense, minus one precision, minus five magic resistance. Leadership result divided by four magic skill zero. So she can lead technically, but you wouldn't want to. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting hero. <laughs> very, very interesting hero. Very much a thematic, a thematic hero. She's going to make a good bodyguard. Um, I think we might actually... Uh, she'd make a good bodyguard, but... Yeah, okay, so you'd have to... I don't know how you would add her as a bodyguard to someone else. I'm not sure if that's even possible. Kind of curious, curious, uh, a curious trait to have on... Uh, to cover on her. Well, I, I wonder if that's because she's a gladiator. Do the gladiators get bodyguard? No. Okay. That's kind of interesting. All right. So uh, we got Sinki uh, K uh, Kinkius. <laughs> I'll call him Sinkius here. <laughs> okay. He's got three fire. Okay. That's good. We've got a really good fire mage. Um, very, very good fire mage. Cool, 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 cool. Now we're into uh, Conjuration. I think we want to go... Let's get ourselves some spells. Uh, we want to go into Enchantment. And the reason being is because Enchantment's really, really good for, for you know, skeleton spamming. Uh, the other thing is Evocation's going to be good for fire. Uh, we've got... Yeah, we've now got the ability to do fire elementals, and we've got, a, we've got a lot of... We've got loads and loads of gems, so we can kit our mages out with gems. Uh, is this force big enough to send out yet? No, I don't think so. We need to prick pays. Um, I want some more Hastatus. One. Let's get some more Hastatus. Two. And then we'll get a bunch of prick pays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen. Um, we will get... I think we'll go with another Augur Elder. These guys are expensive, by the way. 236 upkeep so you don't want too many of them they're also old so that's a bit of a problem i might just go with a yeah we might not have too many there. let's just go with the augurs for the time being now uh we have got dispater here he's going to be he's going to have our main force um what do you do with her i guess i think she's going to be a thug basically because she's got like morale 30 she's not going to run away so she'd be a she'd actually be a decent thug if you kit her kitted her out with some defensive gear, and um, protective protective stuff. Uh, she might be a decent thug. The only problem is that she's she's got one of her slots taken up with her, well uh, with her slave collar. Uh, okay. Let us continue. Um, yeah, we'll keep getting that army up. More Hastati coming up here. Okay, uh, Tarkon here. He's going to search for magic sites, and then he's going to uh, he's going to move around and try to find us some death gem sites. We really need to, uh, we we can't do much with death magic until we found some death sites, but that is something that we can start doing. Uh, Cynthius probably is just going to start moving doing that immediately. So let's get him out for a little while. 
uh, here in Bara, okay, we've started getting some Triarii. Um, let's get some Triarii up as well. Okay, and we're going to get more Triarii. These guys, these guys are tough to get out. You want to use them kind of quick as well, because they're old, right? Uh, they're just going to get older and older, and weaker and weaker. <laughs> very curious, a very curious choice that you have there. Um, um, our research is increasing now. Now that we've got a bunch of, we're actually, you know, getting people doing the research, and we're not spending, uh, we're not doing so much site searching. Uh, I do need some air gems. We haven't found any air gems yet, so let's get these uh, crystal sorceresses going out. Um, Scipio. Ah, oh, Scipio the Flyman, he's also got air magic, so that's good. Okay, we're just going to keep sight searching. Trying to find... Ah, oh, here we go, look, this is Machaka's land. So yeah, I was right. Machaka are down here. Bit of a simple guess there. Okay, Econium. Um, let's get him moving down, and we're just going to keep trying to find more fire gems if we can. Um, we've got Conjuration, and I wonder if we can start... Okay, we've got distil Distilled Gold. So we can turn Fire Gems into gold. Um, you get 10... You, you get you use 10 Fire Gems, and you get 250 gold. I don't think that's a good trade. Uh, I think it's important if you need it, basically. If you're desperate for money, then why not? Um, Muspelheim. Are they going to attack us? That's the question. I hope not. Okay, we need a leader here. Go and grab. Yeah, we definitely want to get some more Hastatus up here. Uh, I'm going to keep going with the Crystal Sorceresses. I like these guys, or ladies. Augustus is going to Sight Search. Okay. Uh, Machaka's down here too. Okay, so Machaka's kind of around this way. Let's just see quite where he is. Um, all right, that's that. I think it's time to put up the castle here then we're going to think about putting up a fort in Faircliff um, if these guys might go for us if they do we've got to, we're going to have to come at them with something what are we going to hit them with well I think we need to we basically need to swamp them with a lot of troops that were a lot of good quality troops the uh, the triarii would be good uh, for keeping them back and then you know the other thing that we could do is potentially we could get a whole... But If they do attack us, I could get a whole bunch of gladiators out. And then just, you know, in fact, that might be a good idea to do that. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just keep, uh, keep on as I am. I don't know if they'll attack us immediately. Let's see what happens anyway. No active... Okay, no active research. Um, yeah, we want enchantment. I really, like, all of it's good. And getting construction, because getting up to construction three is kind of important too. But I think we need some fire spell. We need some spells first, just in case the enemy comes at us. Um, let's go with evocation two. That's only going to take a couple of months to come out, and that will give us access to fire blast flare. Uh, we, we've only got one major cast flare. A couple. Of, we'll be able to cast fire blast so pretty easily with a gem, and you know, and phoenix, phoenix power, and then we'll go. Yeah, I think we're going to go up evocation just so we got some fire spells. And, you know, the other stuff that comes with Evocation too, so Shocking Grasp, um, Lightning Bolt will for our mages once we start getting into Communions. We can do Communions now, by the way, as well. I think that's it for this turn. Here we go. Okay, Palasi the Crystal Sorceress has found a magic site. She's found the Thunder Oak. Excellent. So we started getting some uh, air gems in too. Uh, two... Mukius the Flamen, oh, he's on a roll. Uh, he's found Waterfield Cave and Gem Deposits. So, the Waterfield Cave gives us water magic. Excellent. Uh, sorry, water gems and more earth gems. And he's found Gem Deposits, which is 120 for plus 125 province income. That's really, really nice too. Now, um, I think... What do we do? Do we put up a... Yeah, I want a fort here, I think. All right, let's not move those guys yet. The, the thoughts are is to put up a lab and a temple, but that's going to be probably a bit a bit too expensive. Um, the, I think they're both, both the same price, are they? Yeah, they're both 600 gold. 
let's see what we can do first with our with our recruitment uh we'll go through the rest of this by the way okay so the rest of them didn't find anything and there were no other there's nothing else to talk about here um looks like multiple Heim stopped in the mercs Tarkon here probably wants to carry on searching probably not going to find much in Pantocrator's bounty but let's send him down there anyway now if he does get attacked what spells is he going to be casting you can do phoenix power straight away uh or you could also do power of the spheres now the power of the spheres is expensive in fatigue whereas phoenix power is not but uh that power, uh, phoenix power does boost all of your give them this guy some gems um Yeah, right, fire gems is not going to help against Muspelheim. <laughs> so Phoenix Power is probably not going to be the best one. I think we'd probably go with Power of the Spheres. Okay, now you can curse the enemy. That's pretty interesting. But it'll probably just do it on a giant rather than... That's not, oh, we don't have any gems. That's the other problem. Um, Twist Fate would keep him alive. We could do Power of the Spheres and Horror Mark. <laughs> that just is like a spiteful thing. He would die though. Alternatively, we you know, we could just have him run away. <laughs> the problem is if you forget about that in a battle, then Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that, because I'd rather lose him than than have him as a mage. I know, by the way, that sounds crazy. I would rather lose him than have him as a mage that I'm relying on that I've forgotten to take out of retreat and you know, at a critical moment he runs away. That's just really annoying. All right, um, what do we got here? We got a bunch of print capes. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Okay, my, my dream of having a real Roman army starting to come together, <laughs> if you know, if lizards are, if you consider lizards being part of a Roman army, of course. These guys, uh, do these have javelins? Yes, they do. Okay, so, Ah, uh, look at this, it's really cool. So we've got a whole bunch of, uh, we've got the Leves on the front. Then we've got the, we've got the Hestatus, and then we've got the Principes, and then we're going to have some, I'm actually going to get some Triarii too. And then I'm going to send them off. Big battle. And we want some mages as well. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to send a bunch of Augurs, I think, with them. And we're also going to have a Bishop of the Sacred Shroud. Um... Yeah, we could even take what's his healer? He's healer one. So he's that's not worth getting. Um I would probably just get another one of these guys. So we take a couple of bishops. And now we're gonna get some Triarii, I think. Uh by the way, yeah, I know that normally you would be building your sacreds, but I don't really care about playing optimally for this. I'm more I'm more I'm more into I'm more interested in just kinda of having fun, but yeah, I keep saying that. You guys have heard it before. So yeah, we've got we've got a reasonable research income now that's not too bad. Uh, we're going to get Evocation 3. Do we go for... Sorry, Evocation 2. Do we go for Evocation 3? Uh, not a whole lot for us in, in this at the moment until... Yeah, not a whole lot for us here in Alteration. This would be good, though, to get into eventually. But it's more... Alteration is a good one for Earth some good stuff in water though as well and we do have access to water magic um i think we go with enchantment next um yeah enchantment one would be quite quick to get out enchantment two that would give us access to yeah, it's really. I want, I want enchantment to get into skeleton spam. Basically, that's what that's what I want that for. Uh, the only problem with enchantment uh, with that is we don't have a whole lot of death magic yet. We're not a big death power. Uh, we just got some death magic. It's always really, really useful stuff in, and we own a big astral nation, right? So we astral is always good in thaumatogy once you get to level four and onwards. Um. Yeah, this is this is my the most difficult bit of dominions for me is. 
analysis paralysis when it comes to uh, figuring out what you want. Really, you, good players in multiplayer will figure out their research paths before they start going into, you know, before they start playing. And that's why I tend to lose multiplayer games because I don't usually have a, a, a solid idea of where it is I'm going in the paths. It's one thing I'm trying to up, up my game on when it comes to playing Dominions. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is no, this is not going to hurt us going into into evocation. So I think I'll go into evocation three, um, and then we'll probably get construction three for the research stuff because now we've got we can make alquils quite easily because we've got a whole bunch of um, a bunch of these mages, a crystal priestess. Let's get uh, Kinkius here or Cincius searching. Uh, Augustus, you know, he's going to have to move down here. Scipio. I'll move him to Faircliff. Likely, he might find something in the mountains there. Right, uh, we've got quite a lot of treasury left. Let's get the, let's get the lab and the temple up. Oh no, I'm just going to do one. In that case, let's move her on. We'll have Mukia stay here. He can put the temple up first. Uh, here in Barrow, we're going to continue building the tree REI. Remembering these guys are slow, but that's okay. We don't mind a little bit of, you know, don't mind some slow troops. Uh, these two are going to site search. Uh, Machaka must be one of these, I reckon. Let's move her, let's move Ti uh, uh, Titus here into, or Titus, uh, into Ultima Del Delca. Yeah, everyone's still expanding by the looks of it. There's still lots of expansion going on. Let's continue up this way with Remus. Uh, we've got 400 gold left. Do I get an, another Archbishop up? Yeah, he is going to give us Priest Spells 3. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, alternatively, we do need to get a couple of these guys. I think I'm going to get a couple of those up. Uh, oh, that is going to reduce our ability to get the Triarii, though. We'll get those next. Once we've sent off the uh, the troops, the Armorian troops. Now we probably want some cavalry with this group as well, and I'll I'll get the equitates of the sacred shards in that job. Okay, uh, let's end the turn and go to the next one. Evocation two has been completed. Uh, we're going for evocation three. Um, no sites, uh, no sites found. We've completed a fortress in Belagor, and uh, we've healed a battle affliction. Okay. So, uh, Finfag the commander, keep him there. What are we going for next magic-wise again? Okay, we're going for Evocation 3. That's going to come about out in two turns, probably. That's going to give us access to Fireball. And uh, what else? We've already got access to Lightning Bolts. Now, we do need Fire... Uh, we need... We'd need to be in communions for this because we don't have any native mages who are heir to. The, uh, the crystal priestesses just aren't that strong. Okay, Augustus is going to search here. Okay, Tarkon here is going to search. Did we uh, go through everything? Yeah, we did. These guys are going to go this way, I think. Into Greenwoods. Uh, we've got another mage here, Dispatter. Okay, he doesn't need to preach anymore. We've got really, really strong Dominion, but we want to keep going. Getting another Augur. I might actually switch him now for a um, for uh, Augur Elder, so we've got some, you know, the possibility of getting some Death Magic in here eventually in, Bra in Bara. Let's just have a look at the size of this force now. Okay, we've got a bunch of Triarii, which is what I wanted. Uh, 23 on that back line. Let's start organizing these guys into something looking like a fighting force. The levees on the front, uh, Prinkapes on the back. By the way, I don't know. Uh, this is not. This is not going to be a very good. <laughs> this, this is how the Romans fought, right? I think this was it. I think it was. You know, the skirmishes would have been on uh, fire and retreat, fire and keep distance. And I don't think that works with these guys because they've got javelins. Um, but they'll be on fire and keep distance, basically, or you know, like running up the maybe running up the flank, something like that. Perhaps in a box formation. And then you'd have the Hastati, they'd close on the front line 
and then the Principes would uh, they were the more you know the veteran troops or the well these are the, the triarii are the veterans like, technically in the sense that they were literally the old men but the the uh, Principes would be the you know the force that would be bringing up the rear if the Hastati failed essentially um, and they'd probably be like in a double line something like that and they'd fight like this but yeah you can you can do some cool stuff in Dominions you don't have to you don't have to try to play like you know everybody plays in multiplayer now the reason why people play like that in multiplayer is because it's usually in a very effective way of fighting <laughs> so that's possible you know that's one reason why people do it um right what are we going to do with this army once we've built it well they are going to garrison bara we've got a big income um we are just going to keep building troops i think um yep so 38 Hastati on the front that's a decent amount of Hastati i think um we'd probably get some more we uh the triarii yeah they're they're like i think what i would do rather than using the traditional roman tactics in this game is i'd just pick I, when it comes to a battle i'd pick them to be in the place where they need to be so for example these guys have got the long spear and they fight in formation because they're formation fighters look you'll see that their line is quite um, short um Ah, it's not, it doesn't actually show that look. So the Principes have got 20. These guys have got 23, including the stunt. Oh, they've got 21. These guys have got 23. So it's showing the line is being a little bit shorter. Actually, what's going to happen is these guys are going to be... This line is going to be really, really short. Um, so yeah, we probably would want more of the Triarii, I'd say. So let's get some of those guys out. Um, alternatively, we have got now we've got quite a decent size army. We could get some Equites. Now, they are, you know, having some cavalry would be pretty useful. One, two, three, four. Could probably get five. That's looking good. Okay, we're going to get more Hastatus up here. Uh, we've got more recruitment points now. Uh, I think we want some levees here too. We also need a commander. Okay, um, Rukias here, I think, is going to put up a, a lab. And then Scipio is going to continue moving down this way. Now, oh no, Scipio doesn't need to go that way, does he? Yeah, that's already been searched. We just need, uh, we just need Palasi here to do the air magic. Uh, in that case, Scipio can, he can Skippy out and go this way instead, down to Utavena. Um, uh, Sincius is going to move to over to over to this marsh where he's got a fair chance of finding some death gems. I'd say a reasonable chance, anyway. Um, Augustinius. Okay, we've got another. Uh, we've got another one of these Flamen. He's going to come this way. Ah, now the only problem with him is we we need a we need a crystal matrix or a crystal. Oh, you know, I forget which one it is. Are the crystal matrix or the slave matrix, whatever it is, and then that would that we could plug him into a communion if we wanted to. We don't technically need to that with these guys now. Um, he, really, we can just rely on the crystal sorceresses for our for our access to air magic. Okay, he's gonna wait. I think. Make sure that we are using all our using all our resources. Gonna start getting some levees up now as well. Oh, hold on. No, not the census. Yeah, the levee is the one we want. And we're just gonna start building these guys up kind of slow. Now, I don't think we want to be uh, building those every turn. Pink pays, starty. Yeah, we've already got a bunch of starty. We won't, uh, we won't worry about the tree REI. Okay, looking good. All right, where is Machaka? Maybe it's down here. I wonder if uh, I wonder if uh, Marverni and Machaka are at war. Machaka doesn't look very big, does it? Mind you, none of them really look that big, apart from Nifl uh, Muspelheim's doing really well. Muspelheim's doing really, really well. Okay, let's see what we can find. Yeah, I think uh, I I do think I need to start putting together a force to start taking to think about taking on these guys. Are going to be my first target, I think. I'm going to send this one army, this one rather large army, down this way, 
and um, we'll start building up a force to take on Muspelheim. We need magic, though, to beat those guys, I think. Um, but yeah, everything else is looking all right. Let's start getting some... What do we need here now? Some more Triarii. I think these this, this force is probably... Get... Bring these guys back out. Yeah, Leves, Hastatus. Yeah, we want some more we want some more tree REI. Get those guys up. Um yeah. And this army is pretty it's gonna be ready to go soon. I think we'll send it out next turn probably. We do need another leader here. So Ah, we're not gonna. Oh, we're gonna get. Yeah, we'll have to set. I think we'll send them out in late winter. That way, we'll be able to move over this way. So next turn will be midwinter. It will still be frozen in late winter. So the following turn, we're gonna get a couple of com cavalry commanders. Um, how many triarii have we got? We got ten. We want more than that. Um, so, oh, uh, and then we want some more. The final turn, we'll get some equites of the sacred shroud and a commander for them. Okay. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Uh, we're going to end the turn. Oh, I'm going to end the episode, folks, because we're here. We are at half an hour. So, yeah, in the next episode, you're going to see us going out on some military campaigns. Take it easy.